work with these actors, uh, you know, to do this kind of movie. You're quite right, it's kind of out of my comfort zone to a certain extent, but um, but they're incredible fun to do these kinds of movies. You know, the, ac the action takes care of all the acting. And in a lot of my films, I have to do a lot of acting. So it's quite a relief not to have to act so much. And it's the first film you've actually revisited a character, is that right? And if so, how much fun did you have doing that? Um, just fun to be back with, uh, with my fellow actors, you know, fantastic. See Mary Louise again, John Malkovich, Bruce, of course. Um, so, you know, really fun. And, and, um, how has Red 2 raised the bar from, Red, from the original Red? Um, I think, I hope it's funnier. I hope it, I thought the first one was very funny, very sweet. Um, and there's certainly a lot more action, there's more uh, locations, you know. So um, we'll see how they enjoy it. Film, you're channeling your Bette Davis. Yes, I am. You're absolutely right. Well spotted. Or Glenda, one or the other. Glenda Jackson or Betty Davis, yeah. And I just wondered, was, the, was the, this character that you're playing an opportunity for you to be a bit more playful? Oh, yes, of course, absolutely. You know, but it's quite hard being playful. It's quite, kind of, it's quite a serious job being playful, surprisingly. That's why it's really good to watch people like Bruce, because they're very, very good at it. They know how to underplay and throw things away. So um, I watched him like a hawk. All right. Helen, how liberating was this role for you and have you got a particular highlight? Um, it was kind of fun to be stuck in a car with, uh, with Huang for, you know, for, uh, for a whole day. That was fun, stuck and in the Lotus.